Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be making this pretty trifold card. Um, just different colors and a different designer series paper. Thought I'd try a different one. But it is the same design. All right, so. First thing you are going to need is a piece of rich razzleberry that is eight and a half by five and a half. And we are going to score that at four and a quarter. I just like taking a piece of wax paper and running it over my cardstock. It makes the um, stylus glide better. This piece is five and a half by five, and we are going to score it at three quarters of an inch on the five inch side. So, we will take our bone folder and get these scored nicely, folded nicely, I guess I should say. And then this one right here. We're going to take the piece that we scored at three quarters of an inch and we are going to take our circles, framelits. We are going to use the one that is, and I'm measuring from the lip right here, and that is two and five eighths. And we're going to put that in the middle, but we're going to put it, we're going to put it in the middle here. We want it over towards the fold more though. So we will bring in our big shot. And I don't need my precision plate right at the moment, but I will. I have my big shot platform, my thin die adapter, a cutting pad, my paper, my framelit, and then my other cutting pad, and we will run this through. All right. We are going to be bringing this back in, but for the moment. All right, good. There we go. We're going to take a ruler here and a pencil. And we're going to make a little tick mark on all three of the non-scored side at two and three quarters. So right there, right there, and right here. Okay. Now we will bring in our paper trimmer and we are going to take this first pencil line and put it in the groove, this pencil line and put it in the groove and then we're just going to slice off that corner there. We're going to do the same thing. This pencil mark goes in this groove up here, this one down here. And we will just slice off that corner. All right. 
right, just like that. All right. Now, we're going to need a piece, two pieces, of designer series paper that measure three and three quarter by five. You're going to need two of them. You're going to need two pieces of DS um, cardstock mint macaron that measure four by five and a quarter. The this one we are going to just go ahead and stick these together. Trying to leave an even border on all four sides and we will set this one aside. The next one we are going to take and we're going to do a little, let's see, we're going to do a little more measuring. So on the long side, you're going to put a tick mark at two and five eighths. So that would be right here. On the short ends, we're going to do two and three quarters again. And we're going to do that on both sides. I think I got that off a little bit. Just a tad. Okay. And then this side again at two and three quarters. Right there. All right. And then for the designer series paper. We're going to do, we're going to make some more tick lines in the middle of the long side. So that would be two and a half. And then on the short sides, two and three quarters. Okay, now we will bring our paper trimmer back in and we will do the same thing. We will take this pencil mark and put that right in the groove there. And this one goes right down here in this groove. And we will slice off that corner. And then once again, that goes there, this goes here. And we slice that off. All right. And then one more time. I have to find my pencil marks. There they are. Right here. And right there. Slice that off. Put the corner right in this groove. And let's see. Pencil mark is right there. And slice that off. All right. Now we are going to take our corner rounder and I'm just going to corner round these corners here, all three of them. OK. 
Okay. And then I'm also going to, if you can see your pencil marks, go ahead and erase those. So we're going to take the piece of mint macaron and we're going to put some adhesive. I will use some white glue and just along the edge. You don't want to put it in the middle because we're going to be cutting out this hole again. So you can kind of wiggle that around. And it looks like I didn't round my corner quite nicely. So I'm just going to take and before that dries, snip that off. There we go. Nice. All right. Then we're going to bring our big shot back in. And with the same framelit, we're going to put that in the middle there. Make sure that's in the middle, right in the groove there. I think I have had adhesive on my finger, so everything's sticking to me. And we will run that through. All right. There we go. That one came off pretty good. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm going to put some adhesive along the edge. Put this on here. Wiggle that in. like I got a little adhesive right there so let's get that off just a baby wipe okay all right then we will take our frame lid again put that in there and run this through a couple times going to take this right here and we're going to line this up and we're going to take a piece of post-it note. <sighs> Where did it go? I just had it. And the two inch, we want to make sure that we get the sticky side on here. The two inch punch, punch that out. And this is going to be our guide so we know where to punch. 
punch our circle out. Okay, we will we'll try that again. There's not very much sticky on here. It's right up there, I believe. And we're going to open this up. And we're gonna, when we do that, sorry, I forgot to tell you, you want to make sure that the fold, which is usually on the left side, is now on the right side. So this fold is over here. Okay. All right. And then that gives us our guide where we're going to punch out our circle. Get this little piece off here. There we go. All right. Now we can take this and adhere it to this piece right here. And our punches are not made to go through two pieces of cardstock, but this is a piece of cardstock and a piece of DSP, so that should be okay. So we will turn that over and give it a punch. It is hard. There we go. All right, so now we can take our card here and put it together. So we're gonna take some, some more glue and we're gonna put it down this side right here. So we can get it straight. We're just going to butt that up right there like that. And then there we go. Just like that. Looks like I got a little glue coming out, but I can get my adhesive eraser after that's dried. And it'll be just fine. All right. Okay. Now we can take a piece of very vanilla that is four by five and a quarter. We are using the stamp set Sweet Saying, no, Sweet Seasons. And I'm using this one right here in Everything Give Thanks. We, I'm using, let me get this stuff out of the way here, Rich Razzleberry ink. Make sure that's inked up nice. Nicely, it's going to go right up at the top. Make sure, I have it right side up, and I'm going to hold that for a moment, let it soak into the paper. All right, nice. For a second there and we will take our fast fuse put this in the center trying to leave an even border on all four sides all right I will fold this up we're going to get our big shot again. I need, we need a scrap of mint macaron, delightful Dijon, and rich razzleberry. We're taking the paisley framelits 
and I'm using this one right here. I'm going to have to run that through three times. You do want the precision plate for this. sheet of paper, cardstock, your die, and your acrylic plate. And I'm going to run this back and forth. Sorry for the shaking. All right. Then we're going to take our die brush and our little foam. Run that right through. And we can also use our paper piercer to help us out a little bit here. number one. The others just kind of poke right through. Okay. And I'll show you one more and then I will do the other one. Get our dye brush again. And that comes right out of there. one more. I will turn the camera off. You don't need to see me do that again. I'll be right back. Alright, so I have all three of my little pieces here. I am going to take some of my, my fine tip glue pen. And just put some glue on some of this back here. All right, let me get my tweezers here. And this goes right in the middle. I think I'll take my rich raspberry one next. And that one will go right over the top. I'm just lining up the holes at the top. All right, and then the last one will be our mint macaron one. Back on. 
one will go right on top of this one. Like so. And if you have, like I said, if you have any ink or glue that um, comes out, you can just use your adhesive eraser. I think I got some right here. And it will come right off. Yep, we're going. All right, there we go. All right, last thing. You're going to take a scallop that is, and remember I am doing from the edge here. It looks like it is three and one sixteenth and a piece of rich razzleberry paper. And we will take the regular sandwich here. We will first put the scallop down. And then put the plate on top. Okay. And we just need the scallop. And then we will take the same framelit that we used for the opening, put that on top. And then that's just going to give us a nice frame for the front of our card. Here. And I'm going to use some more of our fine tip glue here. Let's put that right along the edge. Sorry, I like to get this on there right away because otherwise it dries and gets clogged up. And for some reason today I'm having a heck of a time. There we go. Usually I don't have that big of a problem. All right, so I'm going to take my tweezers. This goes right on here. It just gives it a little extra something. Okay. And there you have it. Just like that. Last thing is to take a pearl gem. And I'm using, I think this is the largest one. And that just goes right in the middle here. Like that. 
Now, if you wanted to, if you don't like the way that this just flaps open, but when you set the card up, I, you know, I don't think it's that bad looking when you have the card sitting up. Um, but if you don't like that, you could get a piece of Velcro, small piece of Velcro, and put that on here to keep it closed, or um, some tiny, really thin magnets. I think that you can get those on Amazon. Um, but that's it. So there's the one we just did. This is the one from earlier. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a message and I, or leave me a comment below, and I'll make sure to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.